now we are going to talk about the cells organelles different types of organelles present inside the cell what are organelles organelles are subcellular structures for example the mitochondria as we have seen in the previous diagram uh, the ribosomes which makes proteins the lysosomes vacuoles so on we look at them one by one first of all the nucleus nucleus is very important part of the cell it have the heredity to the genetic material in the form of chromosomes nucleus is present usually uh, for example in animal cells in the center but in uh, plant cells the nucleus is not present in the center because particularly the mature plant cells have a very large vacuole present in the center due to that nucleus is moved towards a side so in plant cells nucleus is present towards the side uh, towards the side and in animal cells mostly it is present inside the center nucleus uh, nucle the structure of the nucleus if we talk about it it have a nuclear membrane it have nucleoplasm and it have a small structure called nucleolus and in the nucleoplasm it have the chromatin material the heredity material uh, the dna deoxyribonucleic acid look at the diagram of the nucleus if you look at the diagram you can see an external membrane this membrane is called the nuclear membrane after the nuclear membrane a fluid is present that is called the nucleoplasm nucleo of the nucleus plasm the fluid this nucleoplasm have chromatin material inside you can see a darkly stained body in inside which is called nucleolus this is a site where ribosomal rna is produced if you observe the nuclear membrane you will uh, find out that there are pores present on the uh, nuclear membrane these are called nuclear pores as we know that the nucleus have to exchange materials with the cytoplasm of the cell these pores are for that transport of materials uh, for example if uh, the a messenger rna is produced inside the nucleus it have to be transported out it will go out through the nuclear pores now we talk about the next organelle the ribosome ribosomes uh, as you can see in the diagram uh, these are the organelles which makes proteins these consist of two subunits one large one small these can read the messenger rna which is made by the dna uh, the heredity material and they makes proteins after reading this particular material they are present uh, in the cytoplasm free or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum Uh, there are large number of ribosomes present inside the cell few cells which are metabolically more active they may have more ribosomes few cells which are metabolically less active they may have less number of ribosomes and uh, the eukaryotic ribosomes are slightly larger than the prokaryotic ones next comes the mitochondria mitochondria are the organelles uh, which are called the power house of the cell they produces energy required by the cell in the form of atp ATP is a molecule adenosine triphosphate which have high energy bonding in its side uh, when it breaks it releases lots of energy in the chemical forms that cells can use for uh, performing their different functions mitochondria are double membraned organelles they have a double membrane on their uh, uh, surface the outer membrane is um, comparatively simple membrane a straight membrane in the inner membrane highly folded its folds are called cristi these membranes are filled with a fluid called the matrix in this matrix they have enzymes uh, mitochondria have their own dna and they perform their many of the functions with the help of their matrix and their inner membrane their outer membrane is less specific the inner membrane is more specific is highly organized here in the diagram you can see a mitochondrion mitochondria is plural mitochondrion is singular in the diagram you can see the outer membrane less folded straight the inner membrane actually not folded straight uh, the inner membrane highly folded have cristi in a matrix inside on the left you can see uh, an image picture taken through the electron microscope in this picture you can see a mitochondria in a grayish color the next organelles these are found only in plants plastids plastids are another type of organelles which produces energy and 
they produces also carbohydrates. They have another property that they produces carbohydrates. These are also double membrane bound. They also have an outer membrane just like mitochondria which is straight or smooth and an inner membrane which consists of highly folded and organized structures called thylakoids. Plastids uh, are present only in plants. They have specific pigments which can absorb sunlight and produce energy for them in form of ATP and they also can convert inorganic carbon into the organic carbon that is they convert carbon dioxide uh, by series of reactions uh, into the carbohydrates and these are the carbohydrates which are source of uh, stored energy for all living organisms on earth. These uh, plastids are of three types chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chloroplasts are um, green in color, they have a green pigment and these are the organelles which are responsible for uh, the energy production and uh, uh, the uh, carbohydrate production in the plants. We call them photosynthesis in the Kelvin cycle. They produces photosynthesis, they do photosynthesis and they produces energy and carbohydrates. Uh, the chromoplasts are uh, other types of uh, plastids which are present in the flowers and the fruits. Uh, we observe different beautiful colors of flowers and fruits. These colors are due to the presence of the chromoplasts. Chromoplasts may be yellow, may be red, may be uh, say uh, more darker in color or in different shades. There are third types of plastids called leucoplasts. These are present usually in the roots and in the tubers. These uh, plastids store different types of materials for the plants. For example, proteins, there are protein, uh, leucoplasts have their types. For example, there are proteinoplasts that saves protein. Uh, there are other um, uh, plastids which save starch like amyloplasts and the others. Uh, they also have a double membrane um, and uh, external is a smooth one, internal is a uh, folded. Then comes the next organelle, the endoplasmic reticulum. As I say endoplasmic, present inside the plasma, reticulum, a network. These are a network of interconnected channels. These are present in various parts of cell, particularly surrounding the nucleus. The endoplasmic reticulum is of two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is called rough because on its surface ribosomes are attached and they appear as granules. So it gives a granulated appearance. We call it rough endoplasmic reticulum. Other is called smooth, don't have a ribosomes attached to its surface. You can observe these in a diagram. In this diagram, you can see on one side of the nucleus, there are rough endoplasmic reticula present. On the right, you can see the same thing in an electron microscope image. What is the function of the endoplasmic reticula? Basically, ribosomes makes proteins. These proteins enter inside the endoplasmic reticulum. Inside these reticulum, there are a lot many types of enzymes and uh, these enzymes modify these proteins and convert them into their final shapes. So, endoplasmic reticulum has very important role in the modifications of proteins from their basic structure into their final structure. And this role is very important because if one protein, even one protein is not formed correctly, the result will be loss of its function. Um, and loss of function may result towards various diseases. Now we talk about the next Golgi apparatus, also sometimes called Golgi complex. Golgi apparatus, we call it Golgi apparatus because it was discovered by the Camillo Golgi scientist. This is also called the post office of the cell. When proteins are produced, they are modified by endoplasmic reticular, uh, reticular enzymes. They have, then they go outside towards the Golgi complex, the Golgi apparatus. Function of the Golgi apparatus is to pack these proteins and send them to the appropriate place where they are required. Some proteins are secreted outside, uh, Golgi complex pack them into small vesicles, uh, we can say fluid filled packs which are called uh, secretory vesicles. Some other proteins are packed for sending towards inside of the cell. So Golgi apparatus is the post office of the cell. And uh, as in the diagram, you can see it consists of various flattened discs and uh, these discs as the diagram shows, 
is releasing different types of vesicle on various towards various parts of cells. As you can see, few vesicles are going down, few are going up. It means they are going in different directions as required by the cell. This is associated with endoplasmic reticulum because it have to get the materials, the proteins prepared by uh, endoplasmic reticulum or maybe lipids produced by other type of endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth one, and then pack them and send them different parts of the cell or maybe outside. The cell. Next is called centrioles. These are the next organelles. These are present inside the cell near to the nucleus. They are hollow and cylindrical bodies. Two are present near to the nucleus, collectively called centromere. Their function is during cell division. When cell divides, these centrioles move towards the sides of the nucleus and make the spindle fibers. These are present in animal cell. Then comes the vacuoles. Vacuoles are also fluid-filled, single-membrane-bound organelles. These are present in uh, different forms. Uh, for example, the food vacuoles, uh, the contractile vacuole, and uh, their major function is storage of different types of uh, materials. For example, some proteins. Sometimes cell is producing some waste material, um, and they have to preserve that waste material for some time and then remove it uh, towards outside. Uh, the food vacuoles, uh, particularly in the unicellular organisms like amoeba, when they um, when they get a food material, they invaginate it and convert it into a vacuole. Then this food is digested. So vacuoles are also uh, very important in the cells. In animal cells, there are many small vacuoles. In plant cells, there is, in particularly mature plant cells, there are many. There is a single large vacuole, which is produced by joining of uh, various uh, small vacuoles. Another organelle is called lysosome. Lysosomes are membrane fluid-filled sacs. They have different types of enzymes inside. They are called uh, the organelles for garbage disposal. Whenever anything is uh, produced in the cell, it have to be broken down. When it is broken down, it have to be placed in some time in a particular um, organelle. Usually vacuoles do so. Lysosomes have enzymes. They fuse with the vacuoles, which have those waste materials, and uh, pour their enzymes inside those vacuoles. And uh, uh, those uh, um, uh, enzymes break down those waste materials and convert them into um, less harmful products for the cell. And then they are released out. So lysosomes are the disposal system of cell. Their function is to dispose of various materials which are harmful for the cell. These material may include the bacteria or viruses which invaded the cell and need to be uh, digested.